Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be testing out this Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation. This is new to their foundation range. I personally love the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and Maestro foundations. They're probably two of my favourite kind of like high-end foundations. But this is new and if you guys don't know already, Giorgio Armani are kind of known for their base products. So their foundations are like well-renowned. Is that the word? But they're basically loved by so many people, makeup artists and just users all over the world because the foundations are just generally really fab. So I thought I would test this out for you guys. I was actually on Instagram Live, I wanna say a couple of weeks ago, where I started using this kind of like here and then I was like, would you guys wanna see like a video of where I do my first impressions and do like a wear test throughout the day? And pretty much every single one of you guys was like, yes, please do a video on it, so. That is what I'm gonna be doing today for you guys. I am gonna just read off some information about this. You get 30 mils in this, and in the UK, it retails for 36 pounds, and in the US, it retails for a whopping $64, which is very, very, very expensive. You do get 20 shades in this, which I think is quite a good match. I believe they don't have very many deeper skin tones. I'm just looking on the Sephora website now, and it seems like they have a lot of light to medium to kind of tan skin tones, but they don't seem to have too many options for the deeper skin tones. I am using the shade 6.5. I really hope that this matches. When I tried it on like a little bit of my skin before I wiped it off, it seemed to be a good match. So I'm gonna hope for the best. Um, and it also has an SPF of 25, which I love, especially if I'm gonna be wearing a foundation during like the day and I'm gonna be out and about in the sun or just out and about in general. I like my foundations or at least my moisturizer to have some sort of SPF. So my skin is being protected from like the harmful rays outside from the sun. So the claims of this foundation are that it is full coverage, it's for sensitive, normal, dry, combination and oily skin, and it has a natural matte finish. So it's saying that it is a full coverage liquid foundation that perfects with a velvet matte, lightweight, second skin finish. The words velvet matte, lightweight and second skin finish, like, I am just, I just wanna put it onto my face because those are the kinds of things that I look for in a foundation. Not always the velvet matte, um, cause I do like a bit of a dew to my foundations, but that's okay. I believe a little goes a very, very long way with this. So I'm not gonna overdo it on my face, <laughs> but I actually can't wait to get this on. I am gonna be using my trusty beauty blender to put this on my skin. But before I do that, I am going to prime and prep and make sure my skin is ready to go. Cause I am going out today. I'm doing a little bit of shopping. I haven't gone like physical real life shopping in forever. I like rarely, rarely, rarely go. Um, so yeah, I will be taking you guys along um, and showing you how my makeup is holding up. So I'm just gonna hopefully hope for the best. I'm actually using a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream as my moisturizer. Now that I've let that sit in my skin for a little bit, I am gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. And this is just gonna give my skin a little bit more of a hydration. And hopefully, because the foundation is quite matte, so I hear, um, it will still give my skin the kind of moisture that it needs underneath the foundation. And before I forget anything else, I'm gonna put some of my Tarte lip balm on. This stuff I've been using so much, but I've still not hit the pan. Mmm, it's so good. So it's been about a couple of minutes and I'm ready to put this foundation on. It looks really dark in the bottle, so I really hope that this looks okay like on the skin. I've got two pumps on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna start blending this in to my skin. So it does have quite good coverage. I wouldn't say that it's full coverage, just straight off the bat, like just putting it straight onto my skin. I wouldn't say that it's a completely bad color. I feel like it's a good color match. And I don't know whether it's the primer that I've got underneath and the um, moisturizer, but it does have a slight kind of sheen to the skin, which I really like. I was hoping that it wasn't gonna be too matte anyways. So I have it on this side of my face and obviously nothing on this side. And when I compare it to the non-foundation side, obviously this side looks a lot more kind of even, but it doesn't look or feel like cakey on the skin. It just feels like I've kind of put a balm on my skin rather than like a full-on heavy foundation. 
The finish I really like because it's very kind of skin like although it's says that it's kind of like a velvety matte it does have a slight sheen to it and it makes it look more skin like. So I used two pumps on this side so I've just got another two pumps out on my hand and I'm gonna do the same thing and just bounce this all over this side as well. I don't know why generally I always start um, my foundation like on the sides of my face even though my sides of my face don't really need that much coverage. So because of my nose piercing, I have to be really careful when I put foundation and stuff around it. Um, I'm gonna get a brush and make sure that I don't um, aggravate it. Now that it's on like my whole face, I do feel like it does look a little bit more matte. I'm not mad at it. Um, it's just not my personal kind of style to have such a matte foundation, but I'm doing it for you guys, I'm testing it out and seeing if it's really a good foundation just like their other foundations in their range. I am going to put some concealer on, we're going to see how uh, concealer applies on top of this. I'm going to be using my trusty eraser eye concealer. I'm almost done with this as well, I swear I go through these like so 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 often. But I'm going to put this on the usual areas that I like to uh, conceal and brighten and highlight. I'm still getting used to applying foundation and stuff around my nose like I possibly am the worst person I always feel like I've got so much product on my actual nose stud and I always have to like wipe it off with like a q-tip does anyone else do that or does anyone have any tips um for getting rid of like extra foundation around the nose because it's really bugging me I just don't know what to do with it now that we have an angel drawn on our faces I'm gonna blend that all out using the pointy side of the beauty blender and you know what, it's sitting really, really nicely on top of the foundation. It's not moving it around. I did see that the foundation was slightly creasing underneath my eyes, um, which means you would definitely have to set it. And now I'm just gonna set using my Kick-Ass Soap and Glory Powder. I need to get another one of these as well. I swear I use this like every single day. <laughs> I'm just setting all the areas that we applied that concealer and hopefully nothing will crease. It's definitely like looking heavy on my skin because I do have the concealer and powder on now. Not like crazy heavy, but you can tell that I'm wearing like foundation. Usually my foundation and my base doesn't look this heavy. So I will um, put some sort of setting spray or something on top just to get rid of any powderiness. Now I'm just gonna quickly finish the rest of my makeup off and then I will show you guys a close up of what my base and everything looks like on. All right, so all of my makeup is done. I have obviously gone for a bright lip. The color that I'm wearing is Trist. Trist. I don't know how to say it, but it's a, an Urban Decay liquid lip and it's like the right mix of red and pink and orange like all mushed together in a color and I really love it. And I am wearing a pair of lashes. These ones are Samantha lashes from Huda. So I'm gonna show you guys a close up of what my base, my skin looks like with this foundation on. I mean, it doesn't look too heavy. I'm hoping throughout the day that the kind of foundation like melts into my skin and looks more skin like, but it doesn't look bad. I'm quite liking it at the moment, but it all depends on how it wears because I have loved foundations when I initially put them on and then after like three or four hours it starts breaking up. One of them in particular being the Hourglass Vanishing Stick Foundation. I just don't get along with that anymore because it just breaks up all around my mouth and it looks really cakey and it just looks really bad. So yeah, I really, really, really hope that this one does last a good amount of time on my skin because so far I'm really liking the kind of outcome of it. It is currently 10.15 in the morning and I have got like a full day of like shopping and then we're probably gonna go for lunch and dinner. There's gonna be a lot of stuff that's happening today. I'm obviously gonna be trying clothes on so hopefully um, my foundation doesn't like get on my white top. I don't know why I'm wearing white today. So I'm gonna try and catch up with you guys throughout the day as and where I can, and I'll give you a time update as well and let you know how my foundation is lasting on my face. Before I get into like vlogging my day, I would love for you guys to give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this, because I would love to test more foundations out high end and low end for you guys. So yeah, um, I am gonna get going now and I will catch up with you guys in a couple of hours.
my nose uh, which is a little bit annoying but that's okay the rest of it looks pretty good so guys it's been seven hours since I've had this foundation on surprisingly it's not really come off my nose and it hasn't actually gotten oily which I am loving because usually makeup comes off my nose right here it's slightly cakey which I'm not liking I haven't powdered my face I haven't like touched my face um, a little bit's coming off on my chin, but it's very, very slight. But it is kind of caking up just right here, but <laughs> I'm gonna keep it going and see how long it will last. Maybe till another few more hours before I end the vlog. Um, and to let you know what I finally think of this foundation. It is 7.30, so I think it's been like nine hours since I've been wearing this foundation. And to be quite honest, it's looking exactly the same as a couple of hours ago. Like it hasn't budged, haven't gotten too oily on my forehead, especially around my nose as well. Like I don't seem to have gotten oily. I've gotten rid of some of the foundation because I was wearing sunglasses because we just went to a beer garden. It was really nice and sunny today. And, um, and yeah, it has been really, really nice like kind of day. So we don't want to be stuck in the house. So we've just been out all day and um, yeah, my makeup has lasted really well. Like the base is just still very, very the same as when I last checked in with you guys. It's a little bit cakey just around here, but it's nothing too noticeable. But yeah, other than that, it still looks really, really good. I'm still gonna see how long it lasts for a couple more hours. But so far, I'm actually really impressed with like the staying power of this foundation. What do you guys think? I know my camera isn't zooming, not zooming. I know my camera isn't focusing um, every time I go close, but it looks still really good on the skin. And none of my makeup, like my highlight or my um, contour has really like budged. I know it looks slightly funny around here, but I think that might have just been me touching my face. But other than that, I haven't powdered. I haven't like reapplied any kind of foundation on my skin. It's just looking like this, but I'm really liking the overall look. I've almost worn this foundation for a full 12 hours. I am looking a little bit oily, especially on the forehead, but I mean it's not like excessive, it's just a little bit. And this is obviously a little bit of oil mixed in with a little bit of highlight. The foundation has definitely started to break up around my mouth and it does look like I've got like foundation around that area. That's only because it is slightly breaking up and it is getting a little bit oily, but for almost wearing it for 11 hours, Personally, I would never wear a foundation for a full 11 hours unless I really, really, really needed to, which is why I'm doing this check-in because this is going to be my last check-in for this video, only because I'm ready to take my face off. Once I get home and I know that I'm not going to be going out anywhere, I just love, love, love taking all my makeup off. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that for this foundation, I was really impressed. I know it's had quite a few mixed reviews, but I feel like majority of my skin looks really nice, but obviously around like this region, it has broken up and it started to get a little bit funny looking. But other than that, my skin still does, especially from far away, it looks great. And I posted a picture with flash on my Instagram, which I'm gonna put here. My skin in that picture looks like it's been airbrushed. I am using the Sony A500 in this picture and it does slightly blur your skin, but this picture definitely looks a lot different to my other pictures. So the foundation does look really nice in flash photography as well. Overall, I am really liking this foundation. I'm definitely gonna be wearing it again, but I will probably mix it in with a bit of a lighter foundation just to avoid the kind of broken up kind of weird looking 
area in this middle bit of my face so yeah i hope you guys liked this video please let me know if you'd like me to test any more foundations out i'd love to do some more of these using some more kind of affordable foundations but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i guess i will see you guys all in my next one okay before this video really ends my fiance just goes to me can i say something to you i was like yes he was like i love you but i don't like that foundation <laughs> He feels like he can really see it around this area and generally when I wear foundations he can't see it So I probably wouldn't wear this for as long as I have but I do still like the outcome I just had to include that because I thought that was very interesting for him to pick up on my base The only other time that he's picked up on my foundation looking really weird is when I wear the hourglass stick foundation And that literally breaks up around this area on me within like two hours and it just looks a hot mess whereas this one has definitely lasted longer but i just had to let you guys know that it is detectable from my fiance so um he doesn't really approve of it that much but i mean i would wear it again but for not like this long of a time now i really am going <laughs> and i will see you guys all in my next video bye